The Cellier General Adaptation Principle states that when an organism, you, is placed under stress, it undergoes a reaction to that stress, which ultimately results in adaptation or failure if the stressor is prolonged or severe enough. In the case of training for a marathon, all training bouts are perceived by the body as stress, and the key is to ensure that the stress produces positive changes without ever reaching the point of failure or exhaustion. Those positive changes happen in stages. Alarm is the first stage, which is divided into two phases, the shock phase and the anti-shock phase. During the shock phase, your performance will be impaired as the stress must be responded to. So, if you've ever noticed that, soon after starting to train, you find that you just seem to be getting worse and worse, you're in the shock phase. This is also why immediately after a session, or even up to two or three days after certain sessions, performance is impaired, and you may feel that the training is making you worse rather than better. It's also the reason why rest and recovery are so vital, so your body can come back out of the shock phase and enter the anti-shock phase, adapting to the training. Resistance is the second stage. Here, the body attempts to respond to continued stressful stimuli. Muscles grow, they make better use of available oxygen, or they get rid of lactate quicker. Your lungs can breathe more air, and your heart can pump more blood. Your neuromuscular control improves, you get more efficient, your perception of fatigue reduces. After an extended period of training and recovery, your body can reach a plateau. It has responded maximally to the training stress, and no further improvements in performance occur. Most training programs will either end here or introduce a new stimulus. Otherwise, you can gradually worsen and eventually fail. If the program has worked successfully, your racing season or your goal race will occur right at the start of the plateau phase and will be followed by a period of inactivity so that a new training program designed to push you beyond the plateau can commence. This is a dangerous period because it precedes the stage known as exhaustion or recovery. Because performance stops improving during the plateau, the temptation is to train harder or faster, but this means there is insufficient rest, which only serves to worsen performance. So begins a cycle of deteriorating performance. The goal of a training program then is to ensure that the exhaustion stage is never reached but rather that you recover sufficiently for the training stress to be altered to cause what is known as a rebound, where performance improves rather than worsens.